Here guys, I'm a professional child wrangler at this point. Hey guys, and we are back. We're here to sort of keep you guys up to date on what's been going on. Um, a lot of you know we moved to Seoul. Very exciting. Um, but what has life been like since we've gotten here? It's been crazy. It's been hard. <laughs> Can you see how tired yeah. we are? If you can't, the concealer is working. Okay, so basically we went from Epic and we changed into Hagwon Jobs so we can move up to Seoul. And a lot of people have been asking us, you know, did we do we think we made the right decision? How are we feeling? How are we adjusting? All that jazz. Yeah. Was it worth it? Mm hmm Was it? <laughs> We will get into that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, for those of you who don't know, um, EPIC is the government program here, and we were with it for two years, both teaching at separate public schools. That's how we met, actually. Mm -hmm. We taught at public schools for two years through EPIC, and with EPIC, it's a bit more structured because it's a government-run program. Um, you work from 8.30 to 4.30. Everyone has the same hours, same technical uh, responsibilities at school. Um, you're co-teaching, you're creating sort of those lesson plans. If you have any questions on that, like we've definitely, we made a video like ages past about it. So go check that out. Yeah. Um, but now we're working at Hagwan. So it's different Hagwans. We're not working together. Um, we're not living together still. We yeah. have different apartments. <laughs> um, just to like clear that up. <laughs> but um, we both work at kindergarten Hagwan. So in the morning we teach kindergarten and then in the evening we teach elementary students and Hagwans, we've kind of touched on this maybe in a different video about Epic versus Hagwans, but just like a refresher. Hagwans are privately owned and so that means every every Hagwan is different. So like every contract, every teacher is they're having like a different experience. And Hagwans though, they definitely have more hours, less vacation days, more work. So maybe you're like then why would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> but you do get to choose where you live and you... Based on your Hagwan's location. Yeah, based so, on the Hagwan's location. So you apply directly. Um, so you know like when you're where, interviewing where? like where you would be at. Um, and they also offer more pay than Epic. But I was talking to her about this the other day, but like technically if you had just come to a Korea and you're working at a Hagwan versus if you're working with Epic, uh, because you're exempted from taxes your first two years for certain countries, technically you would be making pretty much the same amount as you would be making at a hagwon. Because at a hagwon, you aren't exempted from taxes. Yeah, so that gets taken out. We might get them back when tax season rolls around. We're, at, we're not really sure about that yet. Um, we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you know if we get that money back. Um, but with us right now, we're making like the same amount after they take out taxes that we made with Epic like last year. But mm -hmm. if we were still with Epic now, we'd be making less, less money. Yeah. Because they would take out the taxes. Exactly. It's confusing. But yeah, did you see? I just got confused. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was trying to tell you about it and I got confused. Yeah. Other than that, like, what have we been doing? We've been working a lot, which is why we really haven't been able to make this video as fast as we would have wanted to. We've been really busy um, with our. I would say our lives, but like what life have I been yeah, having lately? It's just like, like trying to figure out work because it's so different in the public schools. And then also trying to get like our apartments situated and like a whole make it story. feel homey. Yeah. You know? And also just um, like adjusting our lives and getting everything settled and sorted. Um, so, and we've also, we've been working on a few things as you might have seen. We've been working with the Seoul Tourism Organization and One More Trip, and we've been sort of, um, there's like a, some things in the works, you know, for us, and there's a lot of stuff we've been doing behind the scenes that we haven't been able to show you guys yet, so just stay tuned. It's all very, very exciting. But yeah, so pretty much that's our life update. Like, our schedules now are totally crazy. Before, it's kind of like we both knew we both got off at 4.30. Mm -hmm. um, we went in to work the same time, because everyone at Epic has the same, like, hours. Yeah, it's so pretty much a set schedule, and everyone basically, finish teaching classes at least by fifth period or sixth period mm -hmm. um, versus now I don't know her schedule at all so when I text her I just don't know when I'm getting a response back yeah. it could person. be like five hours later. yeah <laughs> um, also like our 
our holiday schedules are going to be a little bit different. So we don't know, like, we have to like really coordinate now, like when we can get together and film and when we can get together and talk about things. So in that sense, it's been a little bit more difficult, not like super problematic, but just something we need to adjust to. Um, but yeah, we definitely work. We're definitely a lot more tired, guys. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's also like I teach like really. I teach the youngest class of kindergartners. So my Instagram looks really lovely. They're all super mm -hmm. cute. They're like climbing over me like a jungle gym. Um, but it's also really hard. Like it's teaching kids that age is very difficult because they just want to play, and you have to kind of let them like because they're children. Yeah. Um, yeah, I teach seven-year-olds, so that's like the oldest of the kindergartners. So they're like their English is really good. Like it's amazing how good they are at English, but like they're still kids, so you still have to constantly like sit down, calm down, yeah. look at your book. We can't play right now. I know you want to play, but like we have to do these pages. I'm literally just chase. I'm like a child wrangler, guys. I'm a professional child wrangler at this point. Um, and yeah, and we get out later. Like sometimes you don't, we don't see. Sometimes you don't see daylight. <laughs> yeah, really. On some days, depending on your schedule. Um, but other days, you know, you just get through it like any other job. Really, it's just it, yeah. It took us a lot of time to adjust to like how hot ones worked because mm -hmm. it is very different. Like um, with kindergarten, it's like that's our homeroom basically. Like we're homeroom teachers versus with Epic, you're just kind of like the English teacher who like roams around freely between the classes. So it's a little bit less responsibility in that sense. You're a little bit, you have like a lot more things to do, like reports and um, you're like maintaining each individual student's like livelihood while at school. So it's, you don't really have time for anything else during that period. After school, we both teach elementary kids and it's basically like any hagwon, any academy and we basically just, um, it's like textbook cramming. Yeah, it's just like, you have to get the pages done because then every month there's a monthly test, every week there's like vocabulary quizzes, you have to grade all of it, you have to make sure they do well. I teach mostly second graders and they're crazy. <laughs> they're crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, basically we just wanted, to, we can get into like how hog ones work and our schedules and that in another video, but basically we just wanted to tell you guys that we're doing great. We're alive. <laughs> things, things are coming um, and you know, I guess the age old question, like, was it worth it for us? I think it was worth it. Honestly, like, do I, do I miss my old job with Epic? Yes and no. Yeah. There's some parts I miss, but like some parts I didn't like, and I still like wouldn't want to do it. Um, same with this job. <laughs> I mean, with job. any job. Yeah. Um, but for us, it's really about moving to Seoul and getting, um, getting more access to things and it's been good so far so we shall see that's it that's it from us <laughs> anything else just stay tuned we're we will give you like because people always i think people say oh like epic's not the only option option and that's true but some people are scared of hog one so we will eventually give you like the real dirt Oh, I got dirt. <laughs> we, got dirt. we will give it to you eventually. Just yeah. wait. Yeah. So, but that's it from us for now. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.